Hello guys, I wanted to post a video this week about finding your own niche and finding your identity in the reselling world as well as in your personal life. So when people go shopping and you know, you're know you watching other people's Instagrams and other YouTubes and you see, oh, that person made that much money, that person did that, I wanna do that and I wanna do that. But that's all great. I mean, we all learn from each other, we all grow together, but the bigger goal is also kind of trying to find some niche. And the reason why you wanna find your niche is because customers will specifically go to your store because you sell a certain thing that they feel like you have. And then a lot more other customers will be attracted to you because of that niche. So I have the reputation of Zara Queen and um, I have like almost 400 new with tag Zara's in my store. It's not that I planned that to go that route, but after trying many different things, hard goods, selling candies, selling designers, selling Salvation Army, selling Goodwill, going to Ross, going to Marshall, TG Maxx, I just got kind of that, that, reputation and also the higher margins on those items and am i still excited about zara no i'm actually kind of sick of it but you know what that's my niche and that's where i'm making the most money and so if you're from a different state or a different city and you have more access to certain items or certain brands then it would be better for you to pick the items that is gonna make more money, more profit for you. I always get this question. So do you just get things wholesale? Do you get things clearance? How do you get such low prices on your Zara items? And I'm gonna tell you right now how, and this is usually probably a secret, but I'm gonna tell you is that I live in San Diego. People in San Diego do not dress like me. People do not, I do not fit in in San Diego, to be quite honest. I actually met my husband in San Diego, but I was from Los Angeles coming to San Diego. And that's another video. But my style and my mindset is like New York, Los Angeles, and kind of, you know, more trendy, fast fashion trends. People in San Diego wear flip-flops and t-shirts and board shorts. So whenever there's a sale at Zara, whatever would be picked up in a heartbeat in Florida or in LA at the price point of $19.99 or $29.99 is still sitting there, I make cricket noise, for $5.99 to $7.99 to $9.99 at my Zara. So that's why whatever is plentiful in your location. Maybe you live in Denver and you get thrifted items at the bins for like 50 cents and they're amazing brands. Maybe you live in Ohio and you sell, you get potato chips for really cheap and they're really hot selling potato chips on Amazon. Whatever you can have access to easily and you could have a higher margin because you could get a lower price point, that is what you want to go for. Also, if you are struggling to make that niche or find your thing, that's okay. You can still watch people's stories and Instagram and just try. Like I tried to sell hard goods because I saw, you know that girl that has a really big reputation for selling hard goods? I wanted to be like her because I saw her margin. I was like, I wanna be like that. And guess what? I didn't do that well. I did well with certain items, but some other items, it was just not moving for me. So you just keep trying to find your, your groove, your niche, your reputation, and just keep trying different things and see what works for you. I sell candy on Amazon, but guess what? The margins are so low, and I feel like it was so much work for just what I was doing. I felt like, what? profit margins on shoes is better and I'm actually really good at picking out shoes and styles for shoes. So that's okay. I didn't lose anything by selling candy. I still 
sell some candies if it's seasonal it's hot and it's trending and nobody else has access to it and there's not a lot of sellers on it but i'm not gonna make that my bigger priority my bigger priority is like designer shoes and shoes in general or just zara items and high-end designers because i make a bigger margin on that so finding your identity in the in this reselling community in your world is just it takes time but you know you keep trying different things to see what matches for you just like finding your own personal identity for yourself outside of the validation of the world outside of validation of friends outside of validation of your peers to just look within yourself to find out who you are and how you want to impact the world in that way so i hope this helps somebody keep trying and if you're not good at it right now it's okay everybody copies each other that's okay you know they they check comp solds they you see somebody sell something for a really good style and brand and then you saw it at the thrift store and you buy it too that's fine in the beginning that's okay but eventually you're gonna find your niche your groove and what works better for you okay so i hope this helped please like and comment and comment below what your biggest niche is that you would really like to do amazing in okay bye